Hey everyone, welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm making these quick, easy, high end coastal stacking trays. Let's get into it. I've cut some scrap wood into four pieces. The dimensions are in the description box. I've cut my stencils with my silhouette. Later in the video, I'll show you how I design them in Silhouette Studio. I'm also using Joe Stone Your Retarder Medium, Ceram Coat Rain Gray and Hippo Gray, Deco Art Chalk Paint and Refresh Wood Beads, Wood Glue, Mod Podge, and Hot Glue. I'll make my stain with the Retarder Medium and Rain Gray by first dipping my brush into the medium, then the paint, and mix it on my plate. I'll just brush it on, including the edges, and then wipe it off with a paper towel. And I'll completely cover my surface. Now I'll repeat the process with the hippo gray and the medium. And I'll add another coat until I'm happy with the depth of the stain. I'm going for a driftwood look. I repeat this process on all of my boards. I'm only using the hippo gray stain on the beads. I have eight large beads and eight smaller beads. While they dry, I thought I'd show you how I create my stencils in Silhouette Studio. I've already downloaded my clip art from Google, so I open my Silhouette Studio on my laptop. I'm going to close this box. We don't need it. I click on File and choose Open. Then I'll click my Anchor Clip Art file and I'll enlarge it by dragging the corner so we can see it better and I'll zoom in too. I'll move my anchor up to the top a bit. Now I'll go over here to the right and click on the butterfly, which opens the trace panel. Then I click the select trace area that makes my cursor across. I just drag and click over the anchor, drawing this gray box around the anchor. Now my anchor turns yellow. This is the area that will be cut. This is a bit low res, so I'll up my threshold over here in the panel from the default 45% to 61%. This cleans up the lines a bit. Go down to trace and double click and close the box. I'll drag the clipboard out of the way and the cut lines are revealed. The cut lines are always red. I want some text, so to the left is the text panel represented by this A. I'll click the A and then click down here then I type anchor. Now I'll hold the shift and up arrow to highlight my text. And I'll choose my font from the drop down menu. I'm using Bream Catcher. I click back on my text to select it, then up to the object panel at the top. 
I'll click rotate and then rotate by 90 degrees counterclockwise. That flips my text vertically with the A on the bottom. I want it to the left of my clip art and I'll resize it by clicking and dragging the middle square on the bottom next to the A. And I'll pull it down at the bottom here. I'll see this blue line at the bottom. That tells me that my text is even with the bottom of my anchor. And if I want to make my text wider, I can just pull the square in the middle of my text box like, like this. Click and drag. And I move my anchor a little closer to my text. I'll add a rectangle around my design by clicking my drawing tools and the rectangle and click and drag around my design. I do this to make it neater and even. Now I'll go back up and choose my pointer tool. I want to group all of these items together, so I'll click and drag from the upper left corner diagonally to the lower right to select all of them. And I'll choose the group selected items, which now allows me to move them as a unit. In the upper right of my screen, I'll choose Send, which opens the cut panel. Everything that machine will cut is here on the left in red, showing where on the mat the design is, so you know where your vinyl should be. Over here on the right is the panel where I'll choose my material, vinyl in this case, and what the machine will do, cut in this case, and what tool to use, the auto blade in this case. Here's the pressure, I'm using two, the force is 23, and the speed is five, and it'll make the cut in one pass. Then I'd load my vinyl into the machine and press the send button here at the bottom. I've already cut my stencil, so I don't need to do that. This is just to show how it's done. This ready to load message would change to cutting once I hit the send button. Then the machine would do its thing. Then I go back to the design screen and go to File drop down, click Save As, then choose Hard Drive or Library. I always choose Hard Drive and title it and click OK. It's actually pretty simple. I think the software is easy to learn and the trace button is so handy. Okay, now I'll add my stencil by burnishing it with my squeegee. I'm starting with my text first on the largest plank. After I've removed the transfer tape, I'll use Mod Podge, apply it with a cosmetic sponge over the stencil to keep the lines crisp. Once dry, I'll tap my chalk paint on in the same way. When it's almost completely dry, I'll peel up the vinyl and weed out the centers of the lettering. Now I'll apply the mermaid tail stencil. I want it close to the text and to the edge of the board. I fold that wee bit of her tail over the edge and I'll Mod Podge over the design and then I'll paint it.
Some of her scales wanted to come up with the transfer tape. I just hold them in place with my fingernail. Now Mod Podge. And now paint. This is always my favorite bit, peeling up the vinyl to reveal the design. And now I'll just weed out all those little bits. I repeat this process with all four planks and stencils. What I love about this project is that it's very quick and it has a detailed look. It's also a really great project for any level DIYer. I'm positioning the stencils in the center on the two smaller planks. I think this lighthouse is just too cute. With the little seagulls, it's really cute. Gotta have a seahorse. When all the stenciling is finished, I spray on my sealer. All that's left is to add the bead feet. Smaller beads on the smaller trays, larger beads on the larger trays. I like to position them first to see where I want them. With both wood glue and hot glue, I'll adhere them to the bottom of my tray. And once all my feet are on, that's it. So simple. They can be stacked all together in sets or individually. These were just so quick and have such an organic coastal vibe. Totally digging these. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you're inspired to give it a go. All information 
is in the description box. Would be awesome if you would like, share, and subscribe. Take the bell icon for notifications of upcoming videos. I have more fun projects coming up. I love hearing from you guys. So please leave me a comment if you're so inclined. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.